Thank you, uh, thank you, Annika. Thank you, Pip and Toot. Uh, honorable ministers, uh, excellencies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends. Uh, let me start uh, with a question. Is any one of you familiar with the escape room concept? Anyone? Yeah? Yeah. You know, in Tallinn, for example, there are really good escape rooms where you can spend time with your friends uh, figuring out how to survive mounting challenges in hostile environment. And uh, two years ago, when I had some female friends and colleagues over here in Tallinn, we wanted to try it uh, out uh, together. And we decided to choose uh, uh, the ship that is about to sink. Uh, and we were supposed to figure out our way out within one hour in order to survive. It was a lot of fun, and we actually made it quite well, close to record time. Afterwards, uh, when we analyzed our common experience, we found out that we would probably not have made it that well at all if our team would have consisted of only men or only women. Some of the tasks that had to be solved would have been almost impossible for me as a man, while there were other that were a piece of cake or kökkimökki in Estonian for me, but really difficult for my fellow ladies. And I think this is a good example of how easily a diverse team outperforms a homogeneous team. And more or less uh, all studies confirm this, but still this wonderful possibility is not used frequently enough to achieve better performance in business or other fields. So think about this conference today as an escape room and try to figure out how each one of you could score better at work if you only make the right diversity decisions. This afternoon, uh, you'll get a lot of advice uh, and arguments on how to proceed. And let me tell you, I'm so glad that so many of you have decided to invest your precious time with us today. For me, there's one thing that I'm really passionate about, in addition to tennis. And that is fair and equal treatment of all people, everywhere, all the time equal opportunities. And thanks to the proposal from the Cultural Institute of Finland, we started to plan this uh, particular conference together. I myself, uh, I had only one request, that we should once make an effort to engage also the business uh, community in this discussion. Since we want businesses in our region to prosper and to be sustainable. I've been in business uh, uh, before uh, I was recruited to this job, so I know that in order to reach profitability and sustainability, you need to rethink and renew the way you are operating all the time. And the beauty of businesses are that they are able to make quick decisions based upon facts that are favorable for them. We know that there are still a lot of businesses in our part of the world that have management teams or boards consisting of only 40 to 60 year old men, all with similar background. If that is the case in your company or your business, then you know for sure that you don't have the best possible team because it's simply statistically impossible. If uh, that is the case, then you'll get uh, more or less the same answers when you are trying to solve new upcoming problems or create new businesses or business opportunities. But it is, of course, comfortable to spend your days with like-minded people, isn't it? Until you face competitive predators with new creative ideas, that is. Then, game over. Countless studies all over the world show that diversity creates more innovation, increases market share, delivers greater profitability, increases performance, and helps the overall bottom line. Diverse boards have clearly fewer cases of criminal business practices such as fraud, uh, corruption, and bribery. Your company top management or organization 
should at least be as diverse as your customers and stakeholders are, present or potential. After all, it is quite obvious that the management team should reflect its customers and end users. Why would people and organizations resist something that benefits them in the most tangible ways? Some business leaders in our respective countries complain that the, the talent pool is too small. Well, just ask them how many women or representatives or minorities they have on board. Usually very few, even though women in our countries have a clearly higher level of education compared to men. Dear friends, we cannot afford to waste our precious resources. We need all the talent we have around us in order to succeed. The talent pool is right here. We have younger and older people, men and women, Russian-speaking, English-speaking, Swedish-speaking, Finnish-speaking, whatever language. Statistically, also people representing a lot of minorities. With some focused mentoring, we would fairly quickly have new talents in action and more future leaders. To put it simply, diversity is great for your business, but there is, of course, no one-size-fits-all solutions. So, what can we do in order to change things uh, to the better and boost profits and a sustainable future for our, our organizations and companies? Well, first of all, we need to accept facts. That's the beginning of all wisdom. We have uh, the Nordic ambassadors uh, here today, but I would like to invite uh, each and every one of you present here today to be ambassadors for this important cause. Remember, leadership is action, one step at a time towards a better future for all of us. With these words, I would like to warmly welcome you to this uh, uh, conference. I would also like to take the opportunity to thank the Cultural Institute of Finland for, for this initiative and good cooperation, and all our friends uh, and sponsors that made this uh, possible. And last but not least, also uh, Annika Arras, who has uh, made a lot of effort into this, and uh, in addition to being a moderator. So thank you and warmly welcome.